Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to a, another video. In this video, I kind of wanted to cover the market conditions and what um, is going on in the market and how you can make money whether the market goes up or goes down. Um, what I did want to talk about is the whole market. Set. I think we were down at the highs, around 900 points or so. Um, SPY was really down, really just dropped, um, dropped and it fell off there. Um, so uh, what I really wanted to bring to attention is there's about three different things going on at one time that I've never seen that really happen in the market before that are controlling the markets. You have that one sickness that's going around that I can't say the word on because this is YouTube and it'll make this video disappear. Um, then you have the election coming up and um, the stimulus talks. The stimulus talks are kind of coming to an end there, but um, the sickness that's going around is kind of the main thing that have, um, really had the market downturn today. There was a lot of cases that were being picked up in Europe um, and the UK. So, um, and they're closing back down while the restaurants and bars. So the market, that kind of spooked the market because um, our cases are, and numbers are no better than theirs. And um, the stock market doesn't want the economy to be shut down again. So that's why the market kind of um, tanked down a bit. So as you can see, the market really fell off um, around here. It was able to, you know, kind of have some stability at, at the support level. And once it broke to that port, we really just broke down to 335 and was able to bounce. So we were actually able to place some puts um, on the way down right here. And then um, once it did find that bottom, it had that big reversal candle. I was able to get in up here for some spy calls. So we placed spy on both sides, um, on the upside and the downside. Let's see, I was able to get, so on the big drop off, I was able to get 729 on spy. Um, and then I had got out right at the point where it was it kind of started consolidating right about here and then i was able to get back in and get another 379 dollars on another um drop off and, and i think i got out right before it actually hit the bottom there but um once it started to turn around i did get some spy calls um this is those is actually were expiring today um so they were pretty cheap i just hopped in and out but the k was kind of um affecting me just because the uh, option contracts expired today so i was only able to get 260 of those um, I'm currently still in some AMD calls right now. Um, AMD does have earnings reporting, uh, I think in a couple of days, but not tomorrow, in, in a couple, I, actually tomorrow after the bell, AMD actually reports. Um, I think AMD will have some pretty good earnings. I'm hoping for a run up into the earnings. Um, I'd rather play the run up into the earnings or after, um, an earnings report. That's way better for me. So, um, if they do have a good run up tomorrow, I will sell most of my position and then keep a couple of contracts on um in order to kind of catch that big um rise in amd and let me show you amd's chart uh let's see here we are here's amd right here so like this morning i feel like amd really wanted to run this morning um a good a big good green um five minute candle right here we did see some flow in amd coming in this morning and really saw flow the whole day but the market was down so much you know the stock really couldn't you know keep going up it did close up in the day which is a, somewhat of a good sign for me but I will be just looking forward to seeing what AMD does tomorrow. See if we're going to run because tomorrow. See what the market does tomorrow. Actually, um, I don't know if we're going to sell off or you know kind of bounce back from those lows. Um, the market started to kind of turn around towards the end of the close there. So we will see. I need to look at what futures looking at uh, looking like tonight and tomorrow. Um, but yeah, guys, that was the, um, you know that's what's going on in the market. That's what's affecting the market. It's super tough to trade right now. Um, after next week, after the election, things will kind of cool out a little bit more. But like I said, these are some market condition, market conditions I haven't really seen um, in a while. Um, I don't think the market really dropped that many 900 points since March, I believe, when all that stuff was going on. So it's kind of like a reminder that you know the market still is very volatile and you know and um, it just tough tough to trade right now. So that's why I'm, I'm really just getting in and out of trades. There are a couple. Of, there are a couple of good trades here and there where you can find some um, some good swings, but right now it's working out for me. It's just scalping um, different names up and down as the market moves along. But um, yeah, guys, so I just want to give you an update on the SPY and the market and what the market is doing. If you aren't already, go ahead and subscribe to our channel. Please like this video. Um, the link in my description is for our Discord channel. We do have a premium channel where we list entry exits, uh, weekly webinars, charting, all that good stuff. And we do also have a free chat too. The link is also in the description for that. You guys go ahead and jump in there and trade with us um, and come say what's up. But if you have any comments, questions, um, remarks, anything, go ahead and leave a comment. I'll be sure to comment back for anything. But um, thanks for watching, guys.